India has achieved significant progress in their large-scale mega-projects and modern technology, ranging from the tallest railroad bridge to the largest solar park. In today's episode, we will be delving into 10 of India's most impressive mega-projects in 2023. Let's begin with number 10 on our list, the Chenab Bridge. Priced at $180 million. Many ongoing mega projects in India focus on improving connectivity across regions. One such example is a 1,315 meter long bridge in the contentious Jammu and Kashmir area. Towering 359 meters above the Chenab River, surpasses the height of the Eiffel Tower and stands as the world's tallest railway bridge. Before its completion, the sole land route connecting Kashmir to the rest of the country was the Srinagar Jammu National Highway, which faced severe disruptions during harsh winters, leading to weeks of closures. Thankfully, the new Chenab Bridge, set to open later this year, will address this issue. Besides providing a new land route, it also holds strategic significance, enhancing India's control in the region. Now we move on to number 9, Palais Royale in Mumbai costing $380 million. Mumbai, known as India's financial center and a skyscraper hub, boasts almost all the country's skyscrapers. Among them, Palais Royale stands out as the tallest, soaring to 320 meters in height. This super-tall skyscraper has faced numerous delays despite commencing construction with great enthusiasm in 2008. Originally designed as a residential skyscraper to attract the city's elite, Palais Royal encountered legal disputes, leading to setbacks and increased costs. Despite these challenges, construction persisted and the building reached its highest point in 2018. However, work on the exterior and interior was halted once more. In 2019, the skyscraper was auctioned for just $85 million, and India's highest court greenlit its construction. Nevertheless, Doubts linger about its practicality and whether it will be fully occupied. The most recent completion target for Palais Royale is set for December 2023, exceeding its initial budget of $380 million. In the 8th position, we have the Zojila and Zemore Tunnel projects, with a budget of $1.2 billion. Kashmir is the location for this billion-dollar initiative, which involves the construction of tunnels to link the valley with Ladakh. Among these tunnels, Zojila and Zemor on the srinagar Le Highway are particularly crucial. The Zemor Tunnel will establish a 6.5-kilometer connection between Srinagar and Ladakh, ensuring accessibility during harsh winter conditions. The longer Zojila Tunnel, spanning 14 kilometers, will link Le and Srinagar. This tunnel is being built in one of India's most challenging terrains, around the Zojila Pass at an elevation of 3,500 meters, making it one of the world's highest vehicular tunnels. The construction of both tunnels is set to conclude by 2024, and the government is already planning to expand this network in the years ahead. At number 7, we have the Mumbai Coastal Road Project, with a budget of $1.7 billion. Alongside the construction of super-tall skyscrapers, Mumbai is currently experiencing significant infrastructure improvements in 2023. The city's persistent traffic congestion, with average vehicle speeds often staying below 25 km per hour, has been a major concern for commuters. However, several projects are poised to transform Mumbai's transportation landscape in the near future. With an investment of $1.7 billion, the city will see the development of a 29-kilometer coastal road where vehicles are expected to maintain an average speed of 80 km per hour. This route also features twin tunnels, each extending for 2 km under the Arabian Sea. The initial phase of the project, covering a distance of 10 km and linking Prince's Flyover Road, with Worley Sea Link, is already 75% complete and is scheduled to be open for traffic by year end. Ranking at number 6, we have the Navi Mumbai International Airport, with a budget of $2.3 billion. This project plays a vital role in addressing Mumbai's congestion challenges. Mumbai, being India's financial hub, is also the country's most frequent city. However, 
it faces a bottleneck with just one major international airport, the Mumbai International Airport, capable of serving over 50 million passengers annually, yet operating at its limits on most days. With a single runway available, expansion possibilities at the current location are restricted, causing airlines to struggle to secure flight slots. To alleviate this issue and ease congestion at the existing airport, a private conglomerate took an ambitious task of developing a new airport in 2017. The first phase of this project is set to be completed next year, providing relief for approximately 20 million passengers who rely on the city's primary airport. The subsequent phases will be executed over the next 10 years, resulting in a total construction cost of $2.3 billion. Ultimately, the Navi Mumbai Airport is expected to have an annual capacity to accommodate 90 million passengers, making it one of the largest airports globally. Despite its significant contribution to resolving congestion problems, some aviation experts and activists have voiced concerns about the chosen location, as it is in close proximity to critical bird sanctuaries, potentially posing a risk of bird strikes to aircraft. Moving on to the fifth spot, we have the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link. With a budget of $2.4 billion, this marks a significant enhancement to the upgraded transportation system. It consists of 22-kilometer, six-lane sea bridge connecting central Mumbai with Navi Mumbai. The need for such a sea link has long existed to bring Mumbai closer to major cities like Nagpur, Goa, and Pune. However, concrete proposals didn't materialize until 2004 and the initial four attempts to kickstart construction failed due to impractical bids from various contractors. Finally, in 2018, the government of Maharashtra awarded two separate contracts to construct the Trans Harbor Link. This approach has effectively addressed construction delays, and the link is now ready for traffic in just five years. Starting in 2024, it's anticipated to accommodate 70,000 vehicles daily with average speeds reaching 100 km per hour. Next up at number 4, we have the Dalera Solar Park. With a budget of $3.2 billion, India's rise as a technologically powerhouse in recent years naturally includes advancements in renewable energy. The government has set an ambitious goal to generate 175 gigawatts of power from renewable sources in the coming years and the Dalera Solar Park plays a pivotal role in achieving this objective. The project is divided into two phases, closely linked to the larger Dalera Smart City project, and will eventually produce an impressive 5 gigawatts of energy, securing its position as the world's largest solar park. Currently, the first phase of this project is in progress and is expected to be finalized by the end of the year. The entire project is projected for completion by 2030 with a total cost exceeding $3 billion. However, when compared to the exorbitant amounts allocated for India's top three mega projects, this substantial investment appears relatively modest. If you enjoyed this video so far, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Luxury Explore has got you covered about all things luxury. Now, moving on to the third spot of our list, we have the Sardar Sarovar Dam, with a budget of $8.2 billion. The equitable distribution of water resources among India's vast population remains a significant challenge for the country. To address these issues, the Narmada Valley Development Project was convinced. Initially proposed in the 1940s, the plan aimed to construct a series of dams and canal projects along the valley. Like many water and power distribution schemes, this project has been embroiled in controversy for decades due to its social and environmental impacts. The largest of these dams built within the basin is the Sardar Sarovar Dam, where construction commenced in 1987. It took another 30 years to navigate through environmental campaigns, lengthy legal battles, and disputes among different states. Eventually, the dam, which also includes a 1,450 megawatt hydroelectric power project, was officially inaugurated in 2017 with construction costs totaling $8.2 billion. This dam now serves the purpose of irrigation and provides electricity to four Indian states. And ranking second on our list, Gift City Gujarat, with a budget of $11 billion. 
India aims to compete with global financial hubs like the United States, the United Kingdom, and Singapore, building on its recent achievements, leading these efforts in the Gujarat International Finance Tech City, which is attracting some of the world's largest financial institutions. Construction of this $11 billion business district commenced in 2013 and encompasses banks, capital market entities, insurance companies, and manufacturing units. At present, there are more than 200 operational business entities on the expansive 900-acre site with international exchanges facilitating daily turnovers of $4 billion. Notable occupants within the Special Economic Zone include the Bombay Stock Exchange, Brokers Forum, and the National Stock Exchange. Furthermore, it hosts India's inaugural Bullion Exchange, which will play a crucial role in establishing international gold price standards for the world's largest gold importers. Currently designated as a smart city, India's largest tech hub is poised to transform into gift global city, with the government greenlighting a plan to triple its size. Nonetheless, India has even more ambitious mega projects in the pipeline, surpassing this one in scale and cost. Lastly, claiming the top position on our list is Dalera Smart City, with a staggering budget of $22 billion. Part of the multi-billion dollar Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, this project is rapidly advancing. Dalera Smart City will encompass various elements, including high-speed railways, expressways, and a new international airport. It is poised to accommodate significant manufacturing industries like electronics, aviation, and defense. In its entirety, the city is expected to be one and a half times the size of Mumbai and is anticipated to be home to over 2 million residents. Currently, the initial phase is in progress, with a primary focus on enhancing infrastructure within the central business district. Subsequent phases will involve developing the city's landscape and integrating nearly 200,000 individuals into a growing community. This extensive project spans 15 years and will be executed in six stages. Dalera sets a precedent for eight additional industrial cities planned for the future, ushering in a transformation of India's urban landscape. Despite its impressive vision, India's ambitious smart city initiatives have faced criticism. Critics argue that projects like Dalera Smart City represents utopian urban planning offering lower returns compared to the capital required for construction and operation. The allocation of resources to such projects also raises concern about neglecting existing urban centers in dire need of upgrades. Nonetheless, the Narendra Modi-led government appears undeterred by the criticisms and has allocated additional funds for these developments. So, which of these mega-projects stands out the most to you? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.